So in this tutorial, I want to show you how I created this fun thumbnail with this magnifying glass effect. Now, as you can read from the thumbnail, Epic Artwork Review. This is a thumbnail that I made for my school community called Affinity Photo Creative, where like-minded Affinity Photo creatives come together, where everybody can ask their questions, share their artworks, follow courses, jump on live sessions, participate in challenges. We're currently running a, a July challenge with a sci-fi theme which is a super fun thing. And the thumbnail that I just showed you is actually for a brand new thing that I just released, which is called Epic Artwork Reviews. And this is one artwork review that I will do for all my level five or higher members, which are my most engaged members. And I will actually record a short video, as you can see here, that I did for Sarah. This is the artwork that she sent in. And yeah, I will just give my take on it and how I would improve this image or how she could also improve it uh, technically. So this is kind of a fun thing. But yeah, this is not what you're here for. You're here for how I made this magnifying glass effect. So I'm going to show you. I'm, we're just going to recreate this thumbnail and it was actually fairly easy to do so let's start off by using uh, this empty document right here and i want to start off with creating the background so for this um yeah actually for the original image i found an image with this texture but now i'm gonna do it a little differently which is more fun i think so we're gonna go to layer i'm gonna create a new fill layer and i just want to fill it with some blue color um something like this maybe maybe a little darker this looks pretty fine to me. And to create this texture, there are multiple ways to do this. Um, it is basically just noise. But I found that the spray paint textures by Mike KS, which I found inside of my Affinity Photo account, um, these are free things. I've never ever bought anything from them uh, apart from their software. So I got this spray paint textures by Mike KS, and you might have this one as well. And yeah, I can just drag in any of these textures. So let's say I'm just going to go for this one and I'm just going to change the blend mode to something that I like a little better than it is. So maybe soft light would look nice and maybe I want to resize and scale it a little bit. Um, but honestly, I think it looks pretty good the way it is. So let's leave it like it is. And there we go. Maybe change the opacity slightly. Something like this. Perfect. All right. Then I want to create, um, yeah, myself and I found, no, I didn't find it. I took this picture. It is very simple, uh, obviously. So there's flat light, so there's no harsh shadows and stuff. And that is because I was under this um, umbrella. So I'm just going to press W on the keyboard. Um, ideally, I would select this with my pen tool, but it's going to take me a little bit too long. So I'm just going to use my quick selection brush for now and hope for the best results and i'm gonna press q also to get into quick mask mode because then i can better see my selection so now everything that's red is not selected and everything uh, sorry everything that's uh, the original color is not selected and everything that's red is selected so i'm gonna hold alter option to deselect from um yeah my selection let's say uh, and i'm just gonna um, fine tune my selection as good as i can now, I don't really have to pay attention to all of this at the bottom right here, but I will just make a nice selection for now because now we're here anyways. And we got a nice selection right, right now. I missed a little bit of my moustache, but I'll fix that in a bit. All right, press command zero to zoom out, press Q again to leave quick mask mode, and I'm just going to hit the mask icon, press command D to deselect, and now I'm going to press command C to copy this thing and command V to paste it in right here. A little trick, if you double click on the thumbnail, you will zoom out to uh, that specific layer basically, so now I can just easily click and drag and position myself to where I want myself to be which is somewhere around here. Now, I want to flip myself, so I'm going to right click, transform and flip horizontal and just drag myself into position to right about, yeah, maybe right about here looks fine. All right. Now, as mentioned, I want to fix my moustache quickly, which is fairly easy to do. So I'm just going to create a new pixel layer and I'm going to grab the smallest brush the smallest one pixel brush press b on the keyboard and i want to make sure pen pressure um, is turned on i'm not even using my pen i'm just using my trackpad but you can see that it actually still works when i use my trackpad so that is a nice thing so i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and i'm just gonna um, drag in some or paint in i should say 
some of these hairs and I should probably get another color so I'm holding alt and just gonna grab some brownish color so not that it's not like pure black but more the color that it's supposed to be and just <laughs> brush in my funny long moustache something like this and I'm gonna drag it below the original image and there we go this looks pretty okay so it looks better than this I think well it is a funny mustache but i don't care um, all right so now we're gonna go to the magnifying glass effect so i found this image and this image comes from from envato elements um yeah if you don't have an envato elements account because it is a paid subscription which i would really really recommend but if you don't have it you can just find any other image maybe on your stock panel uh, on pixabay on pexels or on uh, unsplash or any other place also good for you to know is um, if you join the community at the right side of this screen right here, you'll see some links. So there's the start here post, and, but there's also the free affinity resources. And if you click on this, you will find a huge list that I've created together with my members um, of all great resources for affinity photo. And if you scroll to the down uh, to the bottom a little bit, you'll find a lot of websites for high quality stock photos, which are absolutely free, except Envato Elements, and also for PNGs. So you could probably find a good magnifying glass on either one of all these PNG websites. Um, but this list is available to all members. And as mentioned again, this community is completely free to join. All right, let's go back. And this thing, I usually would select it with my pen tool prob probably, but um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use my magic wand, make sure the background is selected, click once on the background. And with a 6% tolerance, it looks like it is making a very nice selection for us. So I'm just going to hit the mask icon. Now, you see that I actually masked out the hand instead of the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command D to deselect. And with my mask selected, I'm going to press Command I to invert my mask. And that is all I need. So because I don't need the background, I'm just going to right click and rasterize and trim. And maybe um, I'm not even going to use the hand, so I can already fix this right here. I'm just going to grab my um, marquee tool and I'm just going to make a very tiny selection around here. I'm going to press Command J to uh, duplicate this part, press Command D, uh, and I'm just going to stretch this thing out. So now I've got this nice handle for my magnifier. And what, I'm gonna, what I can do right now is just delete the hand. So I'm just going to make a very, yeah sloppy selection and then press delete and now i got a nice magnifying glass the reason why i delete this hand um because actually it looks pretty nice that i'm holding my um, magnifier but if you look into the original one you can see that my hand is actually like facing the wrong direction so it wouldn't really make sense it is either someone is holding their uh, magnifier onto my face but for the sake of this tutorial um I'm just gonna remove the hand like this and I'm just gonna merge these two together. And now I've got this one magnifying glass uh, instead of this thing with the hand. So I'm gonna press Command C to copy it and go back into my file and press Command V right here. Now, same trick again, double click the thumbnail icon. I'm actually gonna uh, rename this very quickly as well as me. So let's just, oops, let's just call this Rens. And what is this thing? I'm already lost. This is my mustache. All right. And my magnifying glass is obviously going to be in front of me. Let's double click it. Let's press V on the keyboard and let's just scale this thing a whole lot so we can position it. And I'm going to position it something like this. I'm going to just going to reduce the opacity for now and uh, so that I can see through. And I'm just going to position it the way I want. So I want to make sure that my eye is nicely in the middle. Um, this is just, yeah, some trial and error maybe, but I think this looks about fine. And so I can increase the opacity again to 100%. Now, I want to extract this middle part of the um, magnifying glass because I'm not going to need it for now. So. I'm going to select my elliptical marquee tool because I can pretty much see this, that this thing is a circle. So I'm just going to click in the middle and click out. I'm going to hold shift. And also I want to hold space bar so I can move this thing around. So now I can actually try to position it as good as I can. Now there's another little trick that I've got for you. So if you just let go of everything and you press Q on the keyboard, 
inside of quick mask mode this is a very nice trick if you press v on the keyboard you actually select the move tool inside of the quick selection and now you can see that you can just click and drag uh, and move your selection around this is also a trick that i already taught on my youtube channel before um, but it is a very nice trick to know so now it is perfectly selected i'm going to press q again and with my magnifying glass selected i'm going to press command x uh, to cut then command d to deselect and then command v to paste again and now i've got this middle part on its own layer and we're going to use that later so i'm just going to hide it for now all right so um i want to increase the effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select myself and I'm going to create a duplicate. And this duplicate, I'm going to rasterize and trim because I don't need all the excess pixels. I just actually need the side or the inside of this magnifying glass. So now we want to create this like, um, yeah, this round eye effect inside of the glass, let's say. So we want to bump it up and we want to expand it. And there's a cool effect for this. And this is actually one of my members that actually told me about this effect. And um, it is the spherical effect. So I knew it was there, but I never ever used it. But I found this really good use case um, for it. So if you go to filters, then you go to distort and then you go to spherical and you want to increase the intensity a little bit and you can see what's happening right here. So you can see that we get this fun spherical effect. But if we zoom out, we can actually create uh, increase the radius as well. And now you just want to increase the radius to the size of your magnifier. I'm gonna go to 100% and then hit apply and then zoom out again. So now we've got like this thing um, which is already very cool, but I want to pump it up even more to ex uh, exaggerate the effect. So what I'm going to do is with my Rens layer selected, I'm going to go into my Liquify Persona. And you want to select the Liquify Pinch tool and then make it bigger than the actual magnifying glass. And then click and hold and just wait for a little bit. I want to make it even bigger and click and hold and there we go. So now I'm going to hit apply and this was also a destructive effect. I could have done this with a liquify live filter actually uh, to make it non-destructive, but I'm not going to not really going to need uh, to go back into this. So I can work destructive in this case. <laughs> All right, now what I want to do is I only want this effect to be, um, yeah, inside of the magnifying glass. So what I do is I'm going to um, toggle the visibility of my magnifying glass and I'm just going to uh, reduce the opacity for now. I'm going to hold command and click on the, the thumbnail to make a selection of it. I'm going to go to select and then I'm going to grow my selection with maybe five pixels so that we just go outside of this uh, magnifying glass. Hit apply and now I'm going to go to the rents layer and hit mask and then press command D. And now I've got this layer, so this little thing on its own part, so on its own layers. And I'm more flexible than if I would do everything in one layer. So now we go back to the magnifying glass and we're just going to change the... Um, change the blend mode so maybe to soft light or to um, overlay i'm gonna go to soft light and to exaggerate the effect we can add a um, levels adjustment layer so i'm gonna press command l i'm gonna clip it to this magnifying lens glass thing and then i'm just gonna yeah increase and decrease the uh, effect a little bit and let's see if we can get this look nice okay let's do it in another way we're just gonna set it to the blend mode to normal i'm gonna there we go. I'm just going to increase the, the effect like this. And now I'm going to go back and change the blend mode. Let's see what we get. Hard light looks fine. And then I'm just going to decrease the effect a whole lot. And what I've done in the original image, this one, is I actually brightened my eyes so that it, it pops more. Uh, it looks... Obviously, it looks fake, but for a thumbnail, which is really small, I really like this effect of, um, yeah, this brighter eye. So I'm going to go into my eye and let's actually call this one eye. And I'm just going to increase the exposure for this one quite a bit and make sure to clip it to the eye. And now we've got this nice eye popping effect. Now, obviously, I've added quite some text here, which is nice. Um, 
but I think that is outside of the scope of this tutorial. And if you haven't joined my school community yet, make sure to do it right now because you will learn a lot of it. You will connect with like-minded Affinity Photo Creatives. And as mentioned, inside of the classroom, there's tons of things to learn. This is a free course. This is also a free course which you unlock at level three. Then there's my brush bundle and my fur brushes. We're gonna go live about every week. So you can see that we've done a few live calls already and I will put the replay available as well. I'm pretty sure that you will actually, actually love this group. So if you haven't joined yet, do that right now and I would love to see you inside. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Cheers.